Hello everyone, it's Chris the Batman Statue Collector, your Dark Knight of Collecting, and I am back with some more breaking news this week. Of course, some of you might be really shocked by this, and some of you maybe not so much, but it is official that San Diego Comic-Con has been canceled. That's right, the 2020 event is no more. And I guess we really shouldn't be too surprised by this announcement because of the global pandemic. Uh, large groups of people just can't be together right now. And of course, this has been a growing trend. Uh, I was supposed to attend Planet Comic Con in Kansas City in March. I had a press pass. I was going to be covering that event for you guys. But it was one of the first comic conventions in the country to be shut down. And it's been a domino effect ever since. And of course, San Diego is the latest. Um, the thing that does shock me, that surprises me, is was this event was going to take place at the end of summer. So I thought that that would maybe give organizers enough time to feel like things were working and things were better. Um, but obviously they didn't feel that way and they've actually released a, uh, released a press release and I did want to read that to you guys. Um, for the first time in its 50 year history, San Diego Comic Convention, SDCC, the organizers behind the annual pop culture celebration announced today with deep regret that there will be no Comic Con in 2020. The event will instead return to the San Diego Convention Center area from July 22nd through 25th of 2021. Recognizing that countless attendees save and plan for its conventions each year and how many exhibitors and stakeholders rely on its events for a major portion of their livelihood, they had hoped to delay this decision in anticipation that COVID-19 concerns might lessen by the summer. Continuous monitoring of health advisories and recent statements by the Governor of California have made it clear that it would not be safe to move forward with plans this year. So there is your answer. They have been consulting with health officials and other people in the state, um, and they just deemed that, that it wouldn't be feasible. Um, this event brings in so many people. You know, I don't, I don't know if it's 100,000 people. I don't know if it's more than that. It is a massive amount of people that come to this convention. It's one of the world's largest. And so I understand why they went ahead and made the decision now. Um, but it is, of course, unfortunate because this event is used by so many companies um, to show off their new stuff. Uh, the first thing that comes to mind, of course, is Sideshow Collectibles. They use that event. Uh, it is their biggest event of the year, and they premiere a whole bunch of new statues. And so I don't know what Sideshow will do. Uh, I don't know if they will have, you know, maybe an online booth of some sort or uh, do kind of like the, the 12 Days of Sideshow type thing. I'm not exactly sure what they will do. But... I, I am confident that companies like them will show off their new stuff around that time. But again, it is unfortunate. Um, they had recently uh, given to governors from the president uh, ways to relax some of the social distancing if they meet certain criteria. Um, California has been in really good shape um, with how early they were proactive. And so I thought, well, maybe this they would have a, they would have a chance to be able to do the event. But obviously, they made the call that regardless of that, that they're still not going to hold uh, the event this year. Um, so anyway, I just wanted to give you this breaking news. Um, let me know your thoughts down below if you are going to attend the event. Um, or also, how do you think companies like Sideshow will show off their new stuff? Since there's not this big event that will do that, how do you think companies, like statue companies specifically, will show off their new wares? I would really be curious as to what you think, because again, I think some sort of online thing would be really cool. Maybe they could do contests or things like that, I don't know. But anyway, I just wanted to go ahead and give you this breaking news because I'm sure some of you hadn't heard it. And again, I know it's very disappointing, especially if you were going to attend the event this year. Um, but it's probably the right thing to do just to make sure people are safe and healthy. As always, guys, thank you so very much for watching. Uh, if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button and also click the like button if you enjoyed it. As always, I thank you so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you in the Batcave.